Hello everyone, I'm Lindalini, metaphysician, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome. The full moon will be rising on Halloween, which will make this year's celebration even more extraordinary. Oh, well, I guess I should dress for the occasion. Ah, this is so much better, isn't it? So as I was saying, this next full moon rises on Halloween, October 31st which is the second full moon of the month, which makes it a blue moon. So there's a lot going on with this full moon, folks. Having a blue moon on Halloween only happens every 18 to 19 years. So this is a very special occasion because the last blue moon on Halloween was in 2001. This moon is also called the hunter's moon because this time of year, humans and animals are stocking up on food for the long winter ahead. In addition to these aspects of the full moon, this moon is also considered a mini moon because it is the farthest away from Earth than the other full moons in 2020. Mini moon. Hopefully this will curtail the werewolf action this year. According to my genealogist, I'm supposedly descended from werewolves. <laughs> Halloween is such a special time of year where the veil is thin to the spirit world and our connection to our ancestors is really strong. For those of you who celebrate Halloween as Samhain, Happy New Year. Samhain is a Celtic festival that celebrates the end of the harvest time and the beginning of the new year. So without further ado, here is your full moon Halloween card reading for October 2020. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle the cards of the Rider Waite deck and we're gonna focus on the question what can you expect with this full Halloween moon? What can you expect? First card, it looks like justice. Wow. Okay. Thank you, justice. Um, well, this is all about weighing things out, balancing the scales of life, making sure that um, there is fairness to all people and beings around you. Um, there's a little bit of a veiled energy here, so but we can see that there's some good light in the background. So I feel like, you know, justice will be served. Things will come into the light with this full moon and more will be revealed. But know that, um, you know, justice and fairness will come into your life and into the world around around us. The second card is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is about focusing. Focusing on an idea, on an ideal. So this is a good time to really focus on something that you want to do in the future or, or a belief or an idea that you want to share with the world. So this is about passion and focus. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So to expect to be more focused and passionate about an idea that you have. Third card. What can we expect? Oh dear. Well, um, you know, these cards represent all aspects of life. And so this is a little bit of sorrow. It's a little bit of grief. And we all go through cycles of grief and sorrow. Um, so this particular full moon might bring up some grief that you need to release. Um, things from the past or things that are happening right now. It's really allowing yourself to cross this emotional bridge and to get to a new outlook on um, moving through the thing that you're grieving. Getting to the other side where you can see things clearly and where you won't feel as sad. Um, but it's also about allowing yourself to grieve. So in essence, you're getting rid of all the stuff that you've been carrying with you, perhaps, and allowing yourself to fill these other cups, fill your life up with love and joy and move beyond grief. Okay, so these cards are what we can expect now. We want to ask, is there anything that we need to pay attention to? Let's 
anything that we need to pay attention to during this full moon. Oh, I love this card. Well, we need to pay attention to how we feel, what our needs are. Um, so this is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is about you taking a retreat, um, taking some time away from the things and people that you love so you can regroup, refocus, and recenter. So this person's going off into the mountains. So it can be anything. It could be literally taking a vacation for a week, a few days, or just taking a mental break from someone or creating some distance so you can really um, replenish yourself. Okay, so what is the other card for this? Is there anything that we need to pay attention to? Okay, Ace of Cups. Love. So, okay, we need to pay attention to love. This is very clear. Ace of Cups is big love. Love flowing to you from the universe, from God, your angels. Um, it's big love coming into your life through another person, through loving yourself, or feeling love from God in infinite spirit and from all of the spirits and beings that love you. So this is wonderful. Thank you for that wonderful card. Whoops. So we need to pay attention to that. The third card is the Emperor. Okay, so we need to pay attention to taking some time away from people we love, but also accepting love. And the Emperor is about learning how to love. So the Emperor has his heart up on the shoulder here, which means sometimes the Emperor doesn't know how to express love fully. Um, and he has his armor on for protection. And... Um, Four is about stability, so feeling stable within your emotions and able to share your love with others, um, and how we can share love with the whole world. So learning how to step into the fire of the emperor to bring forth love and new passion to people around you and yourself. Okay, so we'll move those cards over there. So for this, the last question, what are the lessons presented by this full moon? I'm going to use my mystical cat cards, which I thought would be fun for Halloween. Okay, so for the first card. Oop, well, we got one slipping out there. Is the world. So thank you, cat cards. This is a beautiful card representing looking out into the world and seeing a new world where all things, all people... All animals are living in harmony and peace. It's about learning to visualize the world in a new way. So this is a lesson in observing. Observing and also visualizing where you want to be in the world and how you'd like to see the world in the future. Thank you, cat cards. Okay, the second card for this question. The lesson is... The queen, the fire queen. Wow, fire queen. So expect lots of fiery emotions around this full moon. Um, the fire queen is here to help you ignite those feminine energies within you that want to create, create beautiful things, create excitement, create joy to share with others. The lesson is sharing that energy and fire third card for this question is the three of C. So we have a C cat here. So this is about really tuning into your emotions and the full moon is all about emotions. Um, so it's really feeling all the love and excitement that is around you with this full moon and connecting with the seas of the world, connecting with the energy of the ocean and with, within yourself, all the salt water within your body, and connecting to the fullness of the world around you. Thank you. And I would like to do one more card for fun. 
for Halloween. Cats, is there anything you'd like to tell us that could help us? With this, they're a little slippery here. All right, we have another sea cat. It's a sea king. <laughs> so, wow. Again, the full moon is about emotions, tuning into your emotions, your intuition, and connecting with the archetype of the king within you and knowing that you are free and you are aligned with infinite spirit and with all of the power of the universe is within you to use it for good and to bring love and prosperity to all around you. Enjoy the good energies around this very special full moon. And happy Halloween and happy Samhain. Many full moon blessings to you. Oh, oh!